Hello everybody and welcome to my video lecture series on design and analysis of algorithms. In this lecture series, I am going to deliver a series of lectures and in this first lecture, more precisely, the exposition I would like to present before you, what are the motivations and utility for this subject to the computer engineers in order to write efficient and most appropriate algorithm followed by proper design of algorithms. As you observe from the title, there are two issues, design of algorithms and analysis of algorithms. By design we mean how the problem is decomposed into smaller sub problems and those sub solutions are placed in sequence so that the problem given is solved. And analysis means if corresponding to a given problem there are more than one solution then how we can judge that particular solution is better than the other. How we can compare which solution is better and which solution is comparatively not better. So, for this purpose we have to judge the problem efficiency in terms of computational time and space. So, that we can conclude that this particular solution is the best solution. After that the next question comes that is how we can represent the analysis result. So, for this purpose there are different representation techniques, analysis representation techniques like order notations, big O notations, big omega notations, theta notations etcetera. We will be discussing that thing immediately after this session. The first issue is problem solving. That means, a problem is given like given a set, we require to find out what is the maximum element among those set of n elements. Or you have given a set of elements and we, are, we want to arrange the element in some ascending or descending order. Or maybe another problem like same set is given, we want to search whether a particular element belongs to that set or not. So, this is the problem. Now, how the problem will be solved by the computer? The computer has no visual interpretation or visual processing power like human being. The problem if, if the problem is given, we can we the human being can see the problem and we can solve it, but computer cannot. So, the problem must be decomposed into smaller steps and this is very much similar the way human decomposes the problem into smaller sub problem and slowly the sub solutions are integrated to obtain the final solutions. So, the main issue here is to divide the problem into steps and arrange the steps in some order so that every every steps if the every steps is solved then the problem will achieve a particular portion of the solutions and when those solutions are integrated or combined then the final solutions will be achieved. For example, if I have given a problem like problem to find the maximum of n elements, then how we should approach? Suppose we have pick up the first element and initially we are considering that element is maximum. Then we are taking the second element and we are comparing this element with the previously set first element which was earlier set as maximum. In this way we will proceed until we examine every element. So, every time what we are doing we are getting the partial solutions and those partial solutions are combined unless we got the final solution. So, how we will decompose the problem that is basically the thinking skill how we can think about the problem. Now, there can be alternatively we can think for the same problem like if the problem is given like 
problem is to find the maximum of the n elements. We can think in that way also that we are decomposing this set into two subsets. Say S is divided into two subsets S1 and S2. We are finding the maximum of S1, finding the maximum of S2 and then the final maximum will be the maximum of these two maximum, two subsets. So, this is a different way of thinking. So, the basic idea is how we will decompose the problem into the algorithmic steps. Algorithmic steps are nothing but the sub problems, solution to the sub problems or the solution to the smallest unit and those sub solutions, solutions to the smallest unit are placed one after another to achieve the final solutions of the whole problem. So, in successive lectures, we will see how we can apply different design techniques and different analysis techniques.